I have another Doki Doki box to present. It'll be my last one. Um, I thought I'd give it one more chance just for fun for my birthday month of June. So here it is. I got a magazine, kind of a manga, and they show people who are interested in the Doki Doki box and who is in bald and company and they also say you could win something like this but yeah they never really announced the winners I don't know I don't really see that but anyhow so these are the themes of the month I got it because there were supposed to be a few cool interesting things like Hatsune Miku there's Snoopy so I wanted to check it out here is another comic. They're always so strange. <laughs> but anyhow, here's Take Omo. Take Omo. And also Harajuku. I thought that would be kind of a fun theme. It's a style in Japan. So, let's check it out. Got the Doki Doki box. Woo! Fill it up with cutesy girly stuff. About thirty dollars per month. So let's just see what's in there. I think I'm mostly going to be <laughs> looking into giving away a few things. There we go. We got a bow. This one was actually. Let's see if I can find it. It had a really freaky, creepy eyeball on the bow, and I said, "Ah ha ha, no." So. I took it off. <laughs> so now it looks like a normal bow. Huh. I think any girl would be okay with this, but with the freaky eyeball, it's like, eh, not so much. Anyways, I've got my eye on you. Creepy? Yeah, a little creepy. So our next item, they always give cutesy stickers. Cutesy stickers? This one is, I believe, drumsticks. Yes, they made drumstick stickers. Yeah. Alright, so, and then there's like a little tie. Ooh. And then they have a really big, massively big, what I think is a pot holder. Mm. It's a creature pot holder that is eating a donut. Japanese culture is definitely interesting. <laughs> and I've got what looks like a zipper bracelet, which is unique. And we've got, these are cute. It's like a little bun, like a pork bun or something like that, but it's like a decorative version. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's one of those like chicken legs stickers or, you know, kind of like that, but it's a keychain. Another one of those things you can put on a phone, but a lot of times Americans don't have the phones with a uh, hole in it, or if you want to put it on, usually they're massively big, but the little ones are cute, but yeah, I probably would have picked a different type. <laughs> so we've got a cute panda pin, which I will probably keep because it is adorable. And I like pins. I like pins. Whenever I go to a convention, I always collect all the pins that I like um, from different mangas and animes and things like that that I enjoy. Uh, and then we've got a stretchy bracelet. It's kind of classic. You could probably put your um, keys on that, but I guess I could try that. Not a bad idea, actually. I could put a couple of keys on there and then bring it to work jangling everywhere and when I clean it'll probably be hitting against things. I don't know. Alright, so I've got here's the Hitsano Miku. I've got a sticker and you've got a lanyard. Actually one of the best things from here, ironically. I think it's adorable and even though I don't listen to Vocaloid all the time, uh, Hitsano is not bad, honestly. But I don't know what I'm going to do with the lanyard. I mean, I could hang it somewhere, maybe? Maybe. 
So I've also got peanuts. And I thought, all right, I can't wait. <laughs> Here's another moment where I'm like, I really wanted something. <laughs> and I got that. It's, I like Snoopy. He looks normal on this side. And then they have all the different types of ones that you could receive. And I got like a semi-rare form. But when you look at it, it kind of reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's what I want to think about when I'm thinking about sweet, fun, lovable Snoopy. Oh well. But he's kind of cute, kind of weird proportioned, but oh well. Say lovey. But decently designed on the outside stylistically, but I think the arms are really disproportionate. So it's really unfortunate. I mean, look at that. They like pop out from the front of the character. I don't know. I mean, they could have put it on the side where you think that their parts would belong, but they put it more towards the front. So he's like, hey. Oh, I don't know. That's my creature. That's my Snoopy. So it's kind of like a more modern version of Snoopy. He's got a really elongated nose, which is different. I mean, in the comics he does have an elongated nose, but not... I don't know, it just... it looks longer. Anywho, so that's that one. And we've got, last but not least, we have a couple of, um, cutesies. So they gave us two plushies this time. He's cute! We've got a little band-aid. So this is for the Harjuku side, I think. It's the Take Omo, the company that they're advertising to do the plushies. And then you've got the Bean Bun <laughs> plushie. It's cute! It's cute! I like it! No mouth, but it's okay. It's Japanese. Alright, so that concludes the... Harjuku, um, um, Snoopy style type box for this month. And I will be canceling next month, but I will be looking for some good boxes to try in the future. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>